almost half of marriages in the United States end in divorce. It's a painful, painful experience for husbands, wives, and often children. Many times, divorce ruins people's lives. But that's not how God intended it to be. God designed marriage to save lives. Hi, my name is Greg Robinson, and we're looking at walking with Jesus Christ. In our last video, we saw that God created marriage to develop godly people to fill the earth. In this video, we're going to zoom in on that idea and look directly at the relationship between husbands and wives themselves. And when we do that, we're going to see up close the wisdom of following God's design for marriage. We have then a husband and wife living their lives together. And their mission is to develop godly characters. The wonderful thing about their mission is that if they do develop godly characters, God has promised them salvation. Now that's an amazing reward, eternal life. So how does a person develop a godly character? Well, it's really all about changing our way of thinking, removing our human way of thinking, and replacing it with a godly way of thinking. And then, godly thinking develops in a person and yields a godly character. This development, however, is not easy, and it's a lifelong struggle for all of us. So God created marriage to be an ideal place for this character change to happen. A husband and a wife who both want to develop a godly character can really help each other in the framework of marriage. What are some of the things that a husband or wife can do to help each other to develop a godly character? It helps us to develop when we hold each other accountable. When we're alone, it's easy to just let things slip. And sometimes things don't get done. But when we hold each other accountable, the Bible is read every day. We pray every day. We help others in need just as we intended to. It helps us to develop when our spouse coaches us on our weaknesses. And that can be hard as, as God works off our rough edges. But in a loving relationship, that's a lot easier. It helps us to develop when we encourage each other in godly things and when we discourage each other in ungodly things. We can create good habits and we can get rid of bad habits. It helps us to develop when we're completely honest with each other. It helps us to see our weaknesses, weaknesses that we might not see in ourselves. It helps us to develop when we're there for each other when difficulties come along. You know, being there in difficult times is crucial because God actively uses trials to help us learn important lessons. James talks about these trials. In James chapter 1 and verse 2, he says, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. Now here James talks about trials like they're good things. But, of course, they are good things. For you know, he continues, that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. These trials help us to develop. And it's wonderful to have a companion as we go through these difficulties. When God's using trials with me, my wife does what's best for me. She won't let me run away from my problems, and yet she has sympathy for me. She reminds me that God is working with me, and she's honest with me. And she says, yes, you do have a problem. We can clearly see why God put Adam and Eve into a marriage right from the start. The framework of marriage that God has designed can be a great help for us. But God's input doesn't stop with just the framework. God can also play a part in choosing the best spouse for us. Proverbs 19 verse 14 says, House and wealth are inherited from fathers, but a prudent wife is from the Lord. A prudent wife is from the Lord. And Christ tells us, that it is God who joins a husband and wife together. In Matthew 19, verse 6, we read, Wherefore, they are no more twain, but one flesh. 
What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Now think about what that means. Think about the implications of that. If you're married, and you ever feel like someone else might be better for you than the spouse that God has given you, you should really think again. Because God's done his part in bringing the best possible person into your life. It's obvious then that God designed marriage to help develop godly characters in husbands and wives. He gave us the best possible framework for marriage. He gives us trials to correct us and to develop us. And he gives us the right person to help us through it all. And the best thing that we can do to help our marriage, to help our spouse, and to help ourselves is to follow the wisdom of God's design for marriage. In our next video, we'll see how God designed the family to save our children.